drops and bubbles by virtue of the property of surface tension whenever a liquid is left to itself it tends to acquire the least possible surface area so that it has least surface energy so it has most stability therefore for more stability liquids acquire the shape of sphere as sphere has least possible area for example a water drop is always in the shape of a sphere although a falling drop may adopt various shapes because of various forces acting on it pressure inside a drop and a cavity pressure inside a drop is greater than the pressure outside suppose there is a spherical drop of water of radius r which is in equilibrium consider there is increase in radius which is delta r therefore extra surface energy is equal to surface tension s into area surface tension s into 4 pi into r plus delta r whole square minus 4 pi r square after calculating we get extra surface energy is equal to 8 pi r into delta r into surface tension at equilibrium extra surface energy is equal to energy gain due to the pressure difference 8 pi r into delta r into surface tension is equal to pi minus po into 4 pi r square into delta r where pi is equal to pressure inside the drop po is equal to pressure outside the drop after calculation we get pi minus po is equal to 2 into surface tension upon r pressure inside a bubble pressure inside a bubble is greater than the pressure outside as bubble has two interfaces pi minus po is equal to 2 into 2 surface tension upon r therefore pi minus po is equal to 4 surface tension upon r conclusion in general for a liquid gas interface the convex side has a higher pressure than the concave side for more such videos on all subjects practice questions and a lot more download iprep and learn unlimited